It says in Romans, walk in the newness of life. Well, how do you do that? How can you do that if you walk around with old concepts and old ideas by the millions in your mind? You have to cleanse your mind. You have to consent to God helping you cleanse your mind. I often say that the mind is like an apartment building with a lot of the tenants that need to be evicted. And uh, I have done this many times. And let me tell you, it's hard. Uh, because a lot of those ideas, even though they're hurting you, you want to hold on to them because they're knowledge. Uh, you know, about another person that did something. Another thing that you did that really was a disaster. And I've had many. You got to be willing to give it up. If you want freedom, real freedom in life, you have to free yourself. Many of us are in a jail and we have put ourselves in that jail, but we also have the key. The key is God. And we can open that door if we choose to. Well, I pray today, mentally and physically, that you're free from the old and the, the obsolete ideas. I pray that your mind is able to think new ideas. Now, in order to do that, to think new ideas, you need the space and the capacity to have those new ideas, to hold on to them. And I pray that it charges your body. Charges is the right word. It is almost electrical in its power with newness and youth. If you're going to be renewed in mind and in body, you must free yourself from the old and the obsolete ideas of the past. The old and the crystallized thoughts. That's a good way to put it. Crystallized thoughts uh, are just causing the body to be old and stagnant. The only salvation from such conditions comes through the introduction of new and fresh ideas. When new thoughts become active in your mind, your mind becomes invigorated. And I can't express this enough. When you go through a mental house cleaning and you have the space for new ideas, you become invigorated, excited, energized in mind and in body. You become alive with excitement for new life. And you are once and for all relieved from the humdrum of the old thinking, yesterday's thinking that you've thought over and over and over again. The monotony of thought is the cause of so much unhappiness in life. It affects the mind. It affects the body. As a lack of, what's the word I'm looking for? Lubricant affects an engine. If you had an engine without oil, it would cease to move. Fresh oil, I'm talking about, not old contaminated oil. Without oil, the friction of an engine soon develops heat and serious trouble. I had an engine burn up on me one time, uh, and uh, it's, not, it's not a happy thing, especially when you go to the dealership. Without new and fresh ideas in your mind, the body is thrown into a state of confusion. You are not meant 
to live in yesterday. You're meant to live today and tomorrow. Today, I pray that you discover fresh ideas and new viewpoints. And I pray that you are free once and for all, with God's help, continuing to have new ideas and to have old and obsolete ideas eliminated, evicted from your mind.